to the best of my ability, I do plan on being at every court appearance. Um, I want to represent her. I want him to see my face. And I want him to see her face and my face. Is there any doubt in your mind that that's anyone but him? No. I mean, someday you'll get the opportunity probably to speak to him in court. Um, if you have the opportunity now, would you, yes. what would you say to him? Um, I would say to him, I, you know, I haven't really thought what I would say, but I would tell him, you know, he has taken away many future generations of our family. Uh, no one in my family, in my immediate family, is having any more children. Uh, my brother doesn't plan on it. Uh, for medical reasons, I can't. Um, <clears throat> and he's taken away uh, our future in a lot of ways. I don't know if this is part of the investigation, but the police have said that um, your sister is still in a relationship um, somewhat with Mr. Martinez. Is that something you can discuss? I can't, I can't discuss it because it is part of the investigation. What about misconceptions, public misconceptions? There are public misconceptions. I can't comment on them or clear them up at this time because I've been asked not to elaborate on any of the details of the investigation. Uh, so I'm not going to be able to clear them up now. That must be frustrating. It is very frustrating. But there are misconceptions about details of her life. What's the best outcome for the, in terms of a trial, what do you hope to see happen? I hope to see the death penalty. Is that something that they're pursuing? They haven't discussed it with me. Is there anything else that you'd want people to know about your sister or your nieces or your nephew? Um, I don't know if I can comment too much on it without crying and I really don't. I uh, want to cry on camera if I can help it, but they were all amazing people in their own right. And you know, the world is going to be a lot emptier without them. They had a lot left to do here. <laughs>